Hi everybody, my name is Kiara and today I'm going to be teaching you a sequence in the hammock that is going to stretch out your legs, open up your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes all in one. I hope you enjoy. Before I get started, I do want to say that it is important to honor your body. So, if a stretch seems a little bit too much for you, you can always ease off and find a version of it that is more gentle to your body, but still stimulating. Got it? Got it. Alright. So we're going to start off underneath the bar or underneath your hammock's rigging point, the right point. You're going to take your right leg onto the fabric about the cankle-ish area. Holding on here, heel is down, you're going to lean forward slightly. We're going to take our hands, we're going to push into the hammock, lean forward a little bit more and try to get the knee towards the nose. Begin to reach up a little bit, grab the hammock, coming up onto the ball of the left foot, we're going to press the hips forward. Keep the hips very square. If you start to notice that the legs start to track out from one side to the other, just remind yourself that the legs are like scissors. The, le the right leg is stretching forward and the left leg is stretching back. Nice. Let's drop it down. We're going to hold on to the hammock, the left leg. I'm going to catch the back of the foot, hook the knee, and come through the center. Standing up nice and tall, I'm going to release my hands from the hammock and just take the hands onto the hips. Point the knee down towards the ground, quad stretch. So, to go further, you're going to take your hands and raise the roof grip, catch the thumbs, and hold on. Bend into both knees and kick back. The important thing of this is to not over arch your back, right? That is a beautiful back bend, but that's not where we're hitting right now. We're gonna keep the bend, the knee, and kick back. There's a slight tuck of the pelvis forward, but not so forward that we're like this, right? Just enough. Good. From here, we're gonna lean back, straighten out that right leg. And if you'd like, you can pull that uh, ball of the foot off of the ground, point the toes up, get that calf. Nice, let's pull up to center, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna slide our hands down behind us and just gently begin to pull up. If you wanna go a little further here, pull with the arms and extend the leg the tautness on that leg, push. Here is where you will find a back bend. Stay anchored through your right leg. Nice work. Bend into both knees. Take the hands around, hold. Elbows around, pull up, and capture the leg. Let's do the other side. Undo the leg. Kick the left leg through. Catch it to the cankle, about the calf ankle. Keep your right heel down. Let's press the hips forward. Slide the hands down, push it away. Take the knee towards the nose. Inhale to lift on up. Holding on yet again. Coming up onto the ball of the back foot, press the hips forward. Same thing, hips stay squared. Pull up to the top. Nice. We're going to come through the center. Right foot catches the back and stand down. Take the elbows through and here we are. Standing up nice and straight here, point the right knee down towards the ground. Holding on in a raise the roof grip, raise the roof, catch the thumbs, and hold here. Bend into both knees and set it back. Straighten out that front leg. And 
peel the front toes off. Deep breath in and an exhale out. Nice. Bend into both knees. Bring yourself up. We're going to slide the hands down. Same grip. Pull up to the top. Keep rooted through your standing leg. And if you like, you can extend that leg nice and tall. Kick with the foot, pull with the arms. Belly is engaged. If you feel any crunching into your low back, ease off a little bit, activate your core a little bit more, and you're golden. Nice. Let's bend into the knee, send it back. Arms wrap around, elbows through, pull up, catch, release the leg. Let's reset our low back because we did a lot of arching through the back. Holding onto your hammock in a push grip, extend the arms away. We're just going to shake out our seat from side to side. Finding up the, the column of the spine and moving from there. Nice. Push into the hammock, lift into a cat like back. Curving the spine here. Nice. Push into the hands and slowly begin to roll on up. Now we're going to take the right leg on again, but this time we're going to slide the leg out down so that it's parallel to the ground. It's okay if you only get so far. We're working towards getting it deeper into this pose. Make sure that the hammock is behind the knee so that you don't slip out. We're going to take the arms through and exhale, fold over the leg. arms around and interlace them like so. From here you can start to soften the left leg and if you want you can take that leg off the ground. Take the left leg down, push everything forward. Really feel that nice big stretch in your seat. Good. Drop. Left heel down. We're going to take ourselves and twist the body, holding onto the fabric, gaze up towards the left arm. Good. Come through center. Opposite side. Hold on. Gaze up towards the right arm. Back to center, standing up tall. Bend the knee, extend the leg, bring it out to the side. Holding onto the fabric, you're gonna step the left leg out to the side just a little bit. Hand is on the hip. Weight is in your left foot, and begin to lean. Staying very balanced here, very strong through the inner thighs as you begin to stretch deeper into them. And pull yourself on up. Let's do the other side. Left leg coming in. We're gonna take the knee in, scooch the leg, same thing. If your knee is up a little high, that's okay. Make sure the hammock is behind the knee. Take the arms forward, exhale, fold. behind the back, same grip as before. See if you can switch the arrangement of the fingers. So if you had your right hand on top, put the left hand on top this time. And fold. And if you like, and you did on the one side, you can soften that leg. And maybe even take it up off the ground. Nice. Set the right foot down, press everything forward. Same thing, make sure that your hips are nice and square here, just like we found in the split. Nice. 
soften, release. We're gonna twist ourselves over to the right hand side. Right hand is high, knees up towards the thumb. Lovely, soften, release, turn to the other side. Left hand high and twist. Back to center, extend the leg nice and long, bring it out to the side. Holding on with just the left arm, take the right hand onto the hip and begin to press to open. I hope that your legs feel nice and stretched out now. Have a great day.